OK, so uh, let's talk through the uh, overwhelming conclusion of the class is uh, blue, answer number four. So talking through these one at a time, uh, more design patterns isn't necessarily better. In fact, the authors of the design patterns book specifically warn against trying to evaluate software quality by counting how many patterns are used. So the top statement is true. Well-designed software can evolve to where patterns become anti-patterns. Uh, it surely can. And part of the entire motivation of Agile is embracing change, right? You accept that this is going to happen. And refactoring uh, with tests as a basis is the way that you get yourself into the position to refactor your code so that you can get rid of the anti-patterns and, uh, and replace them with good code. Applying design patterns too early is just as bad, potentially, as applying them too late. Um, that's kind of a special case of the statement about needless generality. Um, a design pattern, remember, exists because it captures commonality across a set of problems that have some similar structure. Uh, in some cases, you might actually know going into it that you're going to face a particular kind of problem. For example, the designers of Rails included Active Record, which actually is an example of one kind of design pattern because they figured so many apps are going to have a need to have an easy mapping between model objects and the database. Uh, but there's just as many cases where it's not obvious when you're doing your first round of features whether a certain uh, part of your app will sort of, whether there'll be enough substance there to justify a design pattern or not. So early generality uh, is generally not good. And that leaves us with number four. Uh, most design patterns actually are not specific to a particular language. Um, there are a few that are specific to uh, certain language mechanisms, but by and large, design patterns talk about structure and the kinds of things that they capture are essentially language independent. In fact, during most of these lectures about design patterns, we're not going to see a huge amount of code, but we'll see a lot of boxes and arrows. When you see boxes and arrows, it's a good sign that it doesn't depend on a programming language.